Hey, what's going on guys? Mixkilich here with another CSGO video and today I'm actually going to be doing a trade up video. I've not done a trade up video in a long time. I'm going to be doing two pretty big trips trying to get a low float stat track back to new SSG Dragonfire, which is a skin that I've always wanted to be added into CSGO. It was finally added in the glove case, so I'm going to try to get one of the best ones out there. It's going to be like number three or number four lowest float for stat track factory new is going to be worth a lot I'm going to be doing two attempts for that in this video i haven't really been doing too too many trade up videos lately because i pretty much traded up to just about every skin in csgo that's worth trading up to all the bear skins and stuff so i don't have too much left to trade up to but i do want to get the scout skin and when there's a new operation, I'll probably do a lot more trade-up videos if there's any new rare skins for sure. But since I'm only doing two trips, I thought I would also do a kind of mini video on how the trade-up system actually works. Because I think the current info out there, uh, people don't really understand how the trade-up odds really work. Because on CSGO.exchange, believe it or not, the odds in there are actually not correct. And I think a lot of people actually go off those. But a lot of the biggest people in the trade-up community, like Anomaly, Raffle, myself... We've actually been going off these other odds that uh, it was kind of hard to explain them before. Well, actually, not too hard, but now they've actually been posted on the website CSGO Zone. All right, so I kind of went in and plugged in one of the type of trips I'm going to be doing in this video on CSGO Zone so you guys can see. So the type of trip I'm doing here is I have five skins that only have one outcome, and then I have five skins that only have th that have two outcomes. So the skins that only have one outcomes are all the deagles on the bottom. Those can only trade up to a stat track factor new off lightning strike. But the skins on, on the top actually have two outcomes. They can trade up to the buzzkill and the dragon fire. Now, you might you guys might think that it's a 50% chance to get the off lightning strike and a 25% chance to get both or to get either of the two other skins. But how it actually ends up is 33% chance on all of them. Now that's the difference between what CSGO.exchange is going to say and what this website says and this website is actually correct based on all the trips i've done this makes a lot more sense there's been a lot of just random trade-ups that just do not fit the old formula and the guy that made this he definitely knows what he's talking about he crafted some of the lowest float skins ever that were used for the number one dragon lore and a lot of the highest trade-up people have been using this formula for ages, but if you guys want to check your trips correctly, I would definitely recommend using CSGO Zone until CSGO.exchange up updates the odds to the correct formula, because the odds on CSGO Zone are actually correct, and the ones on CSGO Exchange are not correct for all the trade-ups. On some trade-ups, they are correct, but you really have to look at how many different outcomes are in the collection that you're trading up to, because that actually has a huge play on the odds that CSGO.exchange does not take into account. So that's basically just what I, what I wanted to talk about here, that the odds are slightly different than what a lot of people think. Some people may already know about this, but uh, yeah, basically, if you don't want to think about it yourself, you can just, just use this new calculator that is on CSGO Zone. So now I'm going to be doing the trade-ups for this video, and uh, I don't really think this is too profitable of a trade-up, but I really do just want this low float SSG Scout. Actually, I'm sure there are some Chinese collectors that would pay quite a lot for that, because they're... Oh, does that have... That has two Katowice 2014 stickers on it. I didn't even get that for that expensive though. I was buying some of the cheapest ones on the uh, on OP skins, but I mean, I'm still gonna use it. Don't wanna like have to restart the trade-up video here, even though it does have two really nice stickers on it, but I got them for cheap, so I'm not gonna complain here. And yeah, I'm gonna cross this out. I do wanna cross this out just cause there's actually two different SSGs I can get. I can get the Dragonfire or I can get the Blood in the Water. The Blood in the Water is not too much of a loss, but I want the Dragonfire. Uh, the low flow version of that is going to be worth a lot to a lot of collectors, and it's just the skin that I want personally as well. I've already got a... Actually, I've had a Blood in the Water before. I don't have one right now. Wouldn't actually be mad if I got that, but yeah, the main one I got, I want is the SSG Dragonfire. I don't really want that M4A4 skin at all. Even though the M4A4 skin is still worth a lot, I can't lose a lot from this trade-up, but I do want to see if I can craft a Scout, so come on. Let's get that, that Dragonfire, that... That ultra low float dragonfire, we've got two 33% chances. And, ah, shit, we got the blood and water. All right, I'm gonna do one more attempt here. Hopefully we can get something from the new collection. So four of those, and then, okay, I guess I just have all of those for now. Bunch of, oh, probably don't wanna use that skin. <laughs> and, yep, this is the other skin we're gonna be using. All right. I don't think that should... Oh shit, I, I hope I didn't screw up the odds. I didn't actually do the exact trade-up that I did in 
on the simulator thing. I don't think that screws up the odds though, because these are both the one collection outcomes, and then these are both two collection outcomes. So I believe, if, if I'm correct, it should just uh, make it so it's 33% to get one of those skins, and then I'll have to check again. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure we still have a 33% chance to get the scout that I'm trying to get, though. So I'm going to go for this again. Come on, Dragonfire. Give me that Dragonfire. That's what I want right now. Please not an op lightning strike. An op lightning strike would be pretty shit right now. But we'll see. Kind of hoping for this. Alright, come on. Dragonfire. And an M4A4 Buzzkill. That is one of the new skins. That's from the new collection. It's not the one I wanted, though. I think this one might actually check how much it's worth. That's one of the new skins. It's going to be a really low float. So it's probably not too bad. It's worth like... Uh, uh, it's worth 170 might be worth less than a Dragonfire. Dragonfire. Let's search that. Unfortunately, we didn't get the skin I wanted. We did get one of the ones from the new collection, though, so it's not too bad. And really... And... Oh, the SSG Dragon is actually worth less than the other skin. Um, probably wasn't even that profitable of a trade-up, but I, I think it might have been just because of how low of a float I would get. I don't think any of the other ones on here are probably very low floats at all. And I wanted to get a low float, but we did get a super low float stat track M4A4 buzzkill, which is probably still worth a decent amount because it's going to be like uh, like right now. We'll see what it is. Uh, I'll just use this site because I'm already on it. And it is a 0.007 float, and this is also oh my my SSG Blood in the Water is a 0 0.0 or a 0 0.0609 float. So I'm probably just going to keep that as my scout skin for now, I guess. That's actually a really nice scout skin for... I didn't realize it would be that low of a float if we got a skin I wasn't even trying to get. But um, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. It didn't go too badly. Uh, I didn't get the skin I wanted, but I didn't really get that bad skins at all. I didn't get the op lightning strike, so not going to complain about that. That's pretty much it for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys uh, found the like trade-up demonstration or like the trade-up odds helpful because... Probably shouldn't be using the CSGO to exchange odds because they're not completely correct. But uh, I'm Mixed Gillets, and I'm out. Instantly trade your skins on skin.trade.